Okay, we're rolling again. Um, not so much has happened. I have located some glue and um, and find my my Dremel tool so I can make a hole in the chassis. It's uh, quite strong one this one. It's aluminum, so um, I think it can be quite ugly to make a hole in it. But uh, uh, why not? Somebody has to do it. Uh, uh, my uh, spare uh, battery is uh, ready with the small connector at the end. And I have uh, looked at the place beside the, the, the connector for the original battery. Just beside there is some quite a small place, but I think there's room there. Anyway, I haven't calculated any advanced, but um, it looks like that. So that's what's gonna happen next. Yeah, and, uh, sorry for before, uh, the antenna goes from the top down here to this uh, connector and the antenna of course is in the in the bottom of this one. And uh, you can see it, uh, the black one down there. So there are quite good possibilities to make external antennas on this one. I have one on, the, on my old HTC tattoo. That has some video on it, but uh, looks like that, that uh, the old one. Uh, and uh, the same there, the antennas in the bottom cover. And then uh, now it's really uh, crappy because I used it a lot. And uh, this is uh, two component steel, and uh, you can connect a Wi-Fi antenna. They have quite similar properties for the frequency range as uh, the 3G antenna. So it uh, was better. Alright, rolling again. Uh, I have placed out the small connector just beside the, the original connector and I'm gonna glue it first and then I draw really tight uh, cables to the original uh, connector and then in the theory make a hole in the chassis and uh, it would be uh, just coming out of the chassis with the, the top so you can see it. So that's the plan now. See how it goes. Right, some soldering. I have uh, two cables from my new connector. I'm gonna try to pre solder the small cables here. A little easier to attach them later. Right, rolling for a for a test. I think it should be cool. I marked out uh, the minus pole on this one because you can you can switch it. And the minus here should be uh, on the upper side. The white cable should be minus. And if that's minus, it's gonna be on this side. Fits like a glove. Okay. Try to start up the, the phone with the extra battery. Oh yeah, it's running. 
nice. It's a little scary to solder that on the right on the connector. Hope it's gonna be there. Oh, that's looking nice. Not the cheapest phone to play with, but um, if you want to use it, you have to do something to solve problems. And this is one way. I'm sure, is the, there's a lot of way. One idea I had was uh, to have a capacitor and uh, not the battery, and just um, make some holes and something. You know, you can see it could almost be fitted directly to the the connector here. But just a little more to have in mind than if you do that, you have to have some maybe some regulators so we just get out the 3.7 voltage. And how long can it uh, last? I don't know either. Try to find out, but I uh, ah, don't have the energy to, to calculate that. Some other, some other people can do, maybe see if they can have some information about the capacitors, these super capacitors also. To new generation. Yeah, it's starting up now. No SIM card. Ah, it's full battery. And if we slide this one in, it should be twice 2,030 milliamperes or something. Yeah, 860 plus uh, what's it, some 12 uh, or something. Yeah, 1230. That's nice. I like it, yeah, okay. I think the test is that's okay. Right. Now I just have to make a, a hole in the cover. Okay, this is definitely back. Right, new day, and uh, now it's going to get put together. Uh, I start uh, grinding uh, uh, for the the new contact and it's quite uh, quite hard material so I have a small Dremel tool over here that's, that's what I use I have no good tools to that one only this shit to use by it's a cheap machine but uh, I think it's gonna do its work anyway take some extra time so only so that was what's up today Okay, back soon. Where is smooth? I think this is no, no problem too. Could be a short circuit though. So that's one thing you can think about because you can easily short circuit the battery if they're so visible there. And if you short circuit, it can be Right. <clears throat> All right. Let us see the final result here. We have the phone, in my protected pocket, and this is the, how it looks like. I'm gonna paint it with the. Now it's just paint with the, uh, some uh, easy color, but I'm gonna uh, paint it with the nail, nail polish or nail color. It's gonna be really hard. And it's the one black and one red for obvious uh, minus and plus. And uh, we have uh, the battery prepared in the small case. And I think I'm going to fit the extra battery in here. So just uh, now the phone is on. Like that. 
is the easiest way temporary the plus and minus connect it to I think that right click and now you can actually run it if you want to use the extra power so uh, I'm gonna see if I remove this oh, it's the same huh. okay I just put it back click and then I can uh, change the battery under when I have power so uh, if I in a call for example I can slide my battery out and uh, they're still still working so if you important call if I don't want to restart my phone I just uh, do it like this quite nice in the extra battery right that's how you can do it that's one way and if you was to want you can charge your phone with it this one has some solar power of course and in this one you have extra battery also so now you're really up for it so three ways otherwise I can charge my phone to this one there's a quite a large battery so I can I think I can charge one full charge and some 10 20 percent more and that is every possibilities so quite quite uh, quite safe right hope it uh, gives some something something fun and something to to think about okay bye bye